Happy Friday, or happy Friday evening by the time you watch this, or whatever country you may be in. Uh, right, Todd here, no, Todd here. Uh, this is going to be a vlog. Just finished work, just home. Coffee, shameless plug. Uh, vape mail when I came home. God bless the postie who decided to leave it in the garage for me because I would have been in tears if I'd had to wait till Monday for this. Just arrived, I've just put a battery in it. That's Kato's new mod. And I've got the mirror atomizer in there just now. Right, before you, you start going, that's just a VTR. Or, or something like that. Uh, this mod has been... It's been on the go or getting designed, built prototypes for must be about two years. I remember seeing the very, very first one and he had an Ayate by Golden Greek inside it. And it was stunning. It was absolutely gorgeous. And I have been patiently waiting for this to finally, finally get built. And it has. Uh, this is the 18500 version. As you can see my hand, I mean 18500 is still quite a tiny little device. Uh, it does have a phoenix on the back, but that's his own logo. Uh, which is not as nice as my phoenix. Uh, and I'll have a little vape. Great. Uh, that's, uh, I mean, the mirror's 22. I've got any 23 mil out here. Uh, 21, 22, 22, 22. I have no 23 mil out here, but I'd imagine that's going to take a 23 mil out as well. Uh, just, I don't know if you can see there, you know, the ring. Uh, there's no wobble. 510 connection's quite cool. Locking ring on the top. So, a review for this shall be coming. Uh, so that's a bit excited about that. Shall I get to the stuff that people want to know about and we'll get this out of the way? I suppose it's better. Right. Coffee. The Manhattan. For those of you that watched the review and listened, and listened, in the review I did state that I got the device, I started playing about with it. Before I even started recording the review, I contacted the vendor that sent it on to me free for review, which was P-Vapor, and I said this is not venting. This is all in the review. They got in contact with the sales team at Ameravape and uh, they came back saying that there was no issue because it had a big thick tube and that would expand the heat and all the rest of it. There was no mention of venting at all, even though that question was asked. So, I had response from the company the lot before I did the review. So all these people saying that he should have got in contact with the company before he did the review. I did. I did. I said that in the review. I also said in the review that my own personal one that had been sent to me was not venting. You know, so I could only go on the device that I had as I do in all my reviews. So if I had to do that review all over again, I would follow the exact same process from start to finish. Testing it, I found an issue with the venting. I contacted the person I got it off of. I got a reply. Based on that information, I went ahead and did the review. Nowhere at all do the Meravate company state that it vents at 35 PSI or what it vents at or how it vents. 
that wasn't on any of their sites or Facebook page. I, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I did my research before I started the review. Do I wish I hadn't used the term pipe bomb? No. I, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm fine with saying it's pipe, a pipe bomb. If I was to do the review again, I would say this is a pipe bomb. I did a review for the Silverback. I said that was a pipe bomb in the video. What did they do? They went off and redesigned the switch and, and made it vent. They didn't threaten to sue me or anything like that. They, they went off and did their thing. I have to say, to be perfectly honest, uh, the guy that got in touch with me from Amerivape, the engineer, uh, which I'm not, by the way, and his response, he's a dick. Uh, I mean, I, I have to be honest, he's a dick. I mean, if I met him in real life, I'd call him a dick, uh, because that's not how you speak to people. Um, two occasions on Facebook, and once by email, I offered to... If they gave me all the technical information, I would do a follow-up video pointing out once again that it might have been a mistake or a, an issue with my mod, and this is how they designed it, and this is how it should have worked. Just threatened to sue me again. These are facts that I can back up with emails and all that kind of crap. I have nothing to gain from lying. Um, if I was wrong... If I had done anything wrong, I swear on my nearest and dearest family's life that I would be sitting here going, I'm a dick, I got it wrong, I'm really sorry, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't. I was honest. And I would have done any other review the same way. <laughs> now, I've been in conversation with the what's it called um, Kyle Kruger who is the he's, he's got a title I know he's got a title he's the, the CFO of Amerivape and I've said to him as well that if they once again still offer him to do this that uh, if they give me a full technical breakdown on the switch, how it's intent, intended to work, I'd quite happily do a follow-up video pointing that out. Um, I did get an email going on about, uh, you know, the, the technical spec and whatnot. And I get the whole, you know, micro arcing in the switch and venting and the idea behind the vent was to vent the battery at its weakest point um, and all this. But Kyle has come back and said the mod will actually vent at extremely low PSI. Yes, it does have resistance. The venting at 35 PSI only has to do with the amount of back pressure created by the system we use for venting versus the pressure of a battery in the normal runaway. So yes, it will vent at very low pressure, but it does have the back pressure and the 35 PSI has to do with what is needed to be safe. But it does say, don't quote me on the 35 PSI part, which I just did, shit. I am the businessman, not the designer and the engineer. I'm going to be honest, once again, I think the 35 PSI thing is just, right now, I think it's just smoke and mirrors. Um, I've seen the videos online, you know, somebody pouring water through the switch. Uh, the Chuck, Chuff, Chuck, oh my God, what's the guy's name? He did a great video and uh, I've put it on my website. Um, Now, I put this video, as soon as I saw it posted, um, just get to YouTube here a second, by Chuff. Chuff. A guy called Chuff did a video where he took a pressure line and put air through the battery tube and did various tests on it. 
there's some questions being raised off the back of that, but the, the whole it will vent at 35 PS, I think, that comment has just become this whole what? Uh, and ultimately, I have said to Kyle at Ameravate, I think at this point, I'm not going to do a follow-up video. I'm not going to do anything else because I think at this point, they as a company should be doing their own video and explaining the switch and how it works. That's where I think it should be. I am hand on heart sorry that it came to this. I don't like, I've been working, doing this for two years now and this has never happened. I speak to modders and companies day in, day out. Ultimately, at the end of the day, my concern is for you guys as consumers. But I also want to maintain where I can a good relationship with mod makers, not so I can get stuff sent to me, but because I may not be an engineer, but I do have some experience of mechanical mods and things like that. I'm not saying an expert. I'm not an expert. I just have maybe a wee bit more experience than somebody with an ego kit, if that makes sense. I just think if that's it, I just think they need to come out and answer the questions themselves. But once again, big thumbs up to Chuff Alingus. That's got to be a made up name. Whatever. Uh, who did a really good video. Go to YouTube and look, will the Man Manhattan mod by a Meravate vent as designed? So it's almost got more hits than my bloody review has. Um, so that's it as far as me, the Manhattan goes. I would just like to say thank you to all the people that got in touch. Um, some very knowledgeable people got in touch and explained and went on to go into details. There's a guy on YouTube called Yellow Horse 5 He got in touch with me and he was explaining a lot about batteries and how they vent and how they work and whatnot, the expansion and all this. And do you know the best thing that came out of all of this? People are thinking about battery safety, me included. Where does the battery vent from the top or the bottom? Um, the battery expand. Does the battery expand when it starts to vent? And if it starts to vent, then and if it's venting from the top, and there's no ventilation in the top, the ventilation is at the bottom. Then what happens? There's so much come out the back of this that uh, I'm still reading, and I'm, I'm I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but something will come out the back of this and something positive as far as battery safety should come out the back of this. <sighs> How's that? Am I doing okay? Or are you still throwing at the things at the screen going, fat Scottish bastard doesn't know what he's talking about, as so many people have. And to a few folk, listen, I don't sell all the gear off that I get, so fuck off. Um, it, Forget the negative stuff that got posted. Thank you to all the people that tried to educate me and give me more information. That's the main thing out of this. As for Amerivape, uh, go and do your own video. Explain how the switch works. Look after your own PR, okay? If you get that video out there and do your own PR, I'll go back to that video. I'll put a hot link in my video straight to your one. I'll update the description. Uh, I'll put a bit in my web page, I'll put a bit in my blog, I'll put a, another video out saying go and look at this, all that, but do it yourself. There we go. That's enough. That's enough. Christ, that was fucking hell. So ahead now. See, I don't like the serious stuff. Uh, I'm going to have a little vape on... Uh, I did a sneak preview on my Facebook page with this one. Do you remember the, the Nitro by Boost Vaping Lab, which I raved about, really like? 
Well, they've come out with a, a mod as well called the Rider. A vape while this plane goes overhead. Sounds like it's going to land on. Uh, maybe that's my injunction coming or something. Right, uh, enough of that. Uh, so you've seen the Kato, you've seen the Duda. I have reviews to do. I have to review three coiling tools. I have to do that. I have to review the, the MSB Vapes stand. I have to do that this weekend. I have to get them out of the way. Uh, I've got I go, not I go, but uh, UDT, no, is it UDT? No, I it is uh, UD, I go W7s and 6s and 342s and things like that. I have to review them. I've got the Hydra by El Cigart. Uh I don't know if anybody's seen this, did I, if I've shown it off to anyone. Uh, my little squonker. Uh, little bottle at the bottom there, uh, variable voltage, variable wattage, and that's nice, bit of juice in my mouth there. Uh, I'm mucking about with this, but I'll get to review, this will be July before I review this. Um, it's okay, it's quite funky. Um, I'm actually quite enjoying it, but the, there is a, where the hell is it, on ECF, uh, there's a guy that actually, quick links, my threads, no, it's not there, subscribe threads, is it Garut? Garut, uh, G-I-R-A-U-T, there's a guy that's done a review of it on there, he did a review back on the 1st of last month, and everything that he says there, I agree with 100%, he's done a great write-up on it, and nah, pretty impressive, so that's out there if you want to go and read up on it. Um, now, what else? Oh, I got toys. Aspire have come out with, uh, is this a variable voltage one? It is. A new range of variable voltage and ego batteries in carbon fibre. They're actually quite smart. See, I can't get the uh, bit of focus there. You see that there? Uh, they've got this funky selection tool down the bottom. Um, have we got anything to put on this here? <laughs> yes, fully organised. Thank you. Um, this was the Awara, or whatever the hell it was called. I can't remember. Uh, put this up to 4.3. Uh, but basically, they've got it in. Uh, this is, I think, this is the this is the one thousand milliamp hour one. They do an eleven hundred one. They do a non variable voltage one. Uh, they've got various types, but they all come in like this carbon finish. And I think they've got uh, carbon fiber blue, red, grey. They do a pass through version. Uh, so I'll be reviewing them at some point. So that's that. Uh, I better put this away just now. Right. Um, oh, the Bura. The Bura. I've still to do that. Um, and I've got the 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 Ox by Fog Monsters. I've got to do that as well. Uh, but that's all the the Bura. That's all that kind of stuff. Let's have some fun. Right. When I was at work, I went on Facebook and I said, "Has anybody got any questions? They want burning issues. They want." me to answer in the vlog. Now I've not looked at it, 
So this is me just home. And there's 74, fuck off, Jesus, 74 comments. Uh, so let's run through a few of them and have a giggle. Uh, that's got to be good for a laugh. Uh, right comments, right. No, I don't have you more comments. Uh, right, John G. Blair, do the review in green face paint. Bugger off. Uh, Shaz Brown, I'd like to know your vaping story, how you discovered vaping. Uh, two years ago, over two years ago, I was standing in the smoke shelter. A Polish guy that I worked beside called TJ, PJ, PJ, not TJ, uh, had a Riva battery with a cartomizer on it. I went, gadget, ordered one, arrived the next day. That was the day I stopped smoking and started vaping. There we go. Uh, Barry Spath, I would like to talk about your average day at the vape shop. Customers waited upon chores, devices showing which one's sold, which one's not sold, your favourite customer experience, least favourite experience, and a little bit the others you work with in the shop. I would like to hear about that. I can't talk about the shop because... Well, I couldn't talk about the customers because that would be wrong. Uh, I just, I don't want to talk about the shop. I love working in a vape shop. Working in a vape shop is, it's just heaven. It's just heaven. Uh, do I get bored selling starter kits all day? No, not a bit. Because every single person that's coming in is looking to stop smoking and you're helping them make that transition. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's uh, become my life. Vaping has become my life, my job, my review, my hobbies, my everything. And it's just excellent. I'm, I'm not going to go into any more detail than that. Uh, just people I work beside are cool, excellent group of folk. Uh, I, I'll, they're, yeah, they're brilliant. Mischievous as well. Very mischievous, but they're very good. Uh, two guys that own it are cool as hell. Why is, from Thomas Bigwood, Wood, Big Tom Wood, why is Big Tom such a cool dude? Well, I never thought that Big Tom was the cool one out of Safer Vapors. <laughs> um, what's my account number and sort code? From Grant, I'm not telling you. A shout out to Let's Vape members. What's the difference in 304 and 316 grade stainless steel? Uh, Google um, to Michael Howard. Hello, Precious. Uh, TJ's not here. Uh, TJ's, TJ, Precious, who is J Vote's daughter, says, I talk like Shrek. Brad uh, says, have you tried that ear test in your Manhattan? No. Uh, Christopher, cool. What's my Friday drink? I'm Jack Daniels all the way. Uh, Jack Daniels is what I drink. It's what I've drunk for years. It's all I drink. Um, Lafroig. Uh, this is from Miko. Miko, I wouldn't drive Lefroy because it's just too peaty for me. Uh, far too peaty. Um, Philip Mackay, how about what your family thinks of your vaping? If you tried your hand at DIY liquids, or have you thought of trying your hand at building your own mod called at the Todd? Have you any plan to try making your own line of mods or e-liquids? I will never do e-liquids or sell them. I will never do mods or sell them because it's cro for me it's crossing a line that Never got into this to make money. Never want to make money out of it. And that's it. It's as simple as that, really. Um, yeah, every once in a while I'll sell a mod off to get another bit of kit to review. But that's it. I'm making stuff and... Nah. Nah. No. What does my family think? Uh, my family, mum and dad... They love the charity stuff, and they're well chuffed about that. Uh, Karen is an angel, my wife, and, do you know, she's just an angel. She's the patience of a saint. She really has. How she does it, I don't know. 
I would have shot me years ago. Uh, <laughs> do you feel badly about not being an engineer? <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, um, uh, somebody's looking for a tiny rebuildable atomizer. I'll just give them, for Ralph, I'll just say, check my reviews. I can't advise any more than what Mark McClellan saying, when are you going to have guests on your vlog? Never. Sorry, not going to happen. Um, James Jones wants to get into me talking about the whole clone thing shit. Not interested, sorry. My views on clones are out there. Um, Andrew Bush is having trouble with the Copper Vigo uh, with a clunky button. Funnily enough, guy called Andy was in the shop with his new Copper Vigo as well and he had issues with if you don't push it squarely in the bottom, if you push it on the side at all, it's very clunky. And when we took it to bits and looked inside, you could see the, the copper bit where it, your firing pin goes through. It was all scratched to hell inside. Um, personally, I would take a bit of, and you shouldn't have to do this, it shouldn't be like this, but I would take a bit of wet and dry, uh, fine grit sandpaper and just sand round inside there. Like take the switch to bits and you'll see what I mean. Uh, but that will improve your switch and a little bit of no locks or something in there should help as well. Or get in touch with the vendor and complain. It's your call. Chris Larson's asking, I don't see any goose juice in your arsenal these days. Uh, are you through with your Quacks Juice love affair? No, I'm waiting on more arriving, and I'm also getting some more, uh, some new juice from the Quacks Factory, which is called Duck's Breath. Go figure. You said you might do a review, Mads Ambi saying you might do a review in your garden, but it never happened. Um, I, my grass needs cut. That's why I'm not doing it. It's an absolute shithole out there just now. Um, that's why. Uh, do you ever use 18350 outside the house? I use 18350 nearly everywhere. 18350 is my go-to battery. I just love it. Uh, I mean, that is my kind of thing. <laughs> uh... I'd let, Carol, I'd like to know you're not chilled and stressed over that dickhead mod maker anymore. <laughs> Fancy that. Jules, uh, what's the next big thing in vaping? Uh, Jules, you're a spanner. I'm not answering you. I put up with your grief all the time. Um, Dino, uh, Dino, what is the meaning of life? 42. And, and, and that'll do me. Uh, that'll do. Why can't I blow down a tube at 35 PSI? <laughs> Scottish independence, yeah or nay? That's politics. I don't do politics. Uh, Lee Kuntz, I think that's the same guy that does the books. Uh, is saying, is it true you sell all or most of your gear received to review? No, I don't. I auction it off. This year alone, we've rate at the start of the year. Here you go. That's how much we raised. You guys, the vapors, I just put the stuff up for auction. So that was raised. Uh, second chance kennels. That much was raised. And other ones that I haven't got things for, but like over 13,000 grand this year, I think, has been raised. So I hope that answers your question. So if anybody's wondering if I sell off all the stuff that I review, fuck off. Um, ah, I didn't know that. Stealthvape.co.uk, run by Rob and Emma. Lovely, lovely couple. 
Ah, oh, my thoughts are with you guys. If, if you see it, ah, ah wow. Um, the wee fella has been rushed to hospital. Uh, so, if you've got an order in with Stealth Vape just now, uh, don't panic. Um, you will get it eventually, but they're having the refill is not well. So serious. So, sorry. Thoughts are with you. Uh, little Bill, get well. Uh, what did I do for a living before you worked in the vape shop? I worked in IT. Ah, poo. Uh, Uh, have I seen the Ebony Wooden Mod by Jin, Jinna Mods? No, I've not. What does TJ stand for? TJ, the dog, TJ stands for Todd Jr. When we went and put the deposit down on him, uh, and we asked to see the, you know, his pedigree and all that, we noticed that his father was actually called Todd. Believe it or not, he was called Todd. So we just called him Todd Jr., which is TJ, which, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Tim Johnson, an African or a European swallow? I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Thank God somebody got a Monty Python one in there. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> I... Oh, the free to vape thing that's going on just now in the states. Um, I really don't know. I, I I'm not involved in it. I don't know anything about it. I haven't been asked anything or told anything about it. Uh, I know Phil Bissardo, uh had concerns about it, and is it Casa are saying things and all. I don't know what's going on in the states. I really don't know. Uh, I'd also like to say thank you to Mr. B. Mr. Pizarro for sending me an email. Thank you. That meant the world, mate. I really appreciate the support. Um, and that's it. Uh, bloody hell. How long have I been going for? 32 minutes. What else? That's it. I'm, I'm whacked. I'm done in. I'm absolutely done in. Listen, guys. Uh, ultimately, if you've lasted this long through me answering questions there, if I didn't answer your question, it's because <laughs> I just missed it or I just thank you to everybody that posted questions for tonight's vlog. I'll probably do the same next week because it seems like fun. Um... I'll stress this again. I am one guy. Vaping takes up. I work in a vape shop all day. I come home. I do two hours every night on vaping stuff. Answering emails. Uh, so that's two hours every single night. I lose one day out of my two days off on vaping. I have one day Sunday to myself. So please, um, if I'm not answering emails, if I'm not answering your message or, or anything like that, feel free to give me another shout, a nudge and saying I really need to know this, okay? If it's regarding what I think is the latest and greatest thing, go and watch the reviews. I'm never going to get involved in a discussion on what I think should be the best buy or stuff like that. That's I can only answer what is in the videos, you know, I've done the reviews. Um, if it's technical questions, I tend to answer technical questions first, you know, people that are stuck, I'll answer them before I answer anything else. Uh, people that, you know, send me a message for a chin wag, if the messages are short and seem sh abrupt, I'm sorry, but it's probably because I'm, I'm either doing something, recording, editing, or I'm just busy. Uh, so, Please don't take offence if my communication skills seem a bit short. It's just because I can't, I'm, I can only devote so much time to this. Um, aye, 
I can only devote so much time. Um, what else? No, I'm knackered. I'm absolutely knackered. Uh, I've got uh, quite a few other bits and bobs that are coming in for review. Uh, I'm just waiting on them arriving. But there's a couple of things. Um, I said I wouldn't do any more till July, but there's folk that have sent stuff out. They want it. The review's done before the launch date, so I've said yes. Um, but I'll leave you on this parting note. Please have a nice weekend, but above all things, remember everything that you see in my videos is just my opinion. I'm just some loony sitting in a shed in a garden in Scotland. It's just my opinion. So please, please, please don't sue me. Even if you are an engineer. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye.